Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm taking you to my childhood in Italy. These are the filled ham and mozzarella fried croquettes. The way I grew up eating them, full of flavors, and they're gonna make your belly very happy. Let's see if the cheese is filante. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at the mozzarella. Oh, my God, look how long it is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hello. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we learn how to cook fantastic Italian recipes. And these Italian croquettes are to die for, <laughs> filled with mozzarella and ham. Come on, let's make it. To make croquette di patate, potato croquettes, like an Italian, we need one kilo of top quality potatoes. <laughs> A little bit of parsley, three tablespoons of pecorino or parmigiano reggiano, some nice ham, which we're gonna cut, some mozzarella cheese. We need two nice fresh eggs, one egg for the mix and one egg to crumb the croquettes. A teaspoon of nutmeg. You don't have to use nutmeg if you don't want to. We also need top quality bread crumbs, okay? To crumb the croquettes, salt and pepper, and sunflower oil for frying. Guys, the first thing we need to do is wash your potato, of course, and I'm gonna show you that you can actually boil the potatoes without removing the skin, okay? This is the lazy way, lazy version. So cut the potatoes enough, and then we boil them. That's a large potato, still cut enough. Now, what we want to do now is put the potatoes in water, and then we're going to boil it, okay? Going to boil it until the potatoes will get soft. You don't need to put any salt. So once the water starts boiling, you count about 15, 20 minutes, and then you go and check with a fork. If, when you put a fork inside, it's nice and moist, you take them out. You wanna be able to break the potatoes with the fork. Now, ham and mozzarella. We need to cut the ham very nice and Small, small pieces, but long, okay? So what I've done here, I went to the shop and I said, don't give me slices of ham, just give me whatever you have, any leftover ham that you have. Not only it's cheaper, but it's also best for this, you know? So you just cut into small pieces, just like that. And then you can just cut them enough, okay? You want small cubes to go inside your croquettes. Now with the mozzarella, I cut the mozzarella into strips. And then what we do is we want to cut them into square again, okay? The, the little cubes. That way it's easier and faster to melt inside the croquette, okay? Okay, let's check the potatoes. Oh, the skin is coming off already. Thank you. Do me a favor. Ah, see, it's soft, see? See, see, it's, it's breaking, the potatoes are soft. So we are ready now to make croquettes. Okay, now let's throw out the water and we want the potatoes to get a little bit colder. Now we just want them to cool down a little bit. Okay, here are the beautiful potatoes, okay? We just wanna wait them a little bit until they become a little bit cooler, but they need, to, they need to be warm when you mash them. Now what we're gonna do with the potato is we're gonna put the potato in the masher, but we wanna put the skin on top. So when I squash, the skin stays inside, okay? I'm just gonna show you. And the potato comes out, see? Perfect. So now what we do is we're gonna put another potato there. And again, what I want to do is I wanna get the skin on top and the potato on the bottom. Press and let's get more out. And it is important you do this when the potatoes are nice and warm, otherwise, a little bit more hard to get them out. Now those beautiful potatoes are ready. So what we want to do is we want to wait five minutes for them to cool down and then we add the ingredients inside. So 
place it in the fridge just for about five minutes. The potatoes now cool down. It's not hot anymore, so I can touch them with my hands. So let's play with them. What we do now, we put all the ingredients inside. So we start from the parsley, put the parsley everywhere, put the pecorino everywhere, pecorino cheese. Pecorino cheese will give the more flavor to the potato. And can I be honest, you wanna add more pecorino? You add more. The more you put, the better it is. Time for the nutmeg. Put as much as you want. A little bit of salt and a generous amount of pepper. Yum. Last but not least, we're gonna use the egg. So, crack the egg and put the egg inside. The egg is gonna help us to combine all the ingredients. Now, we use one hand and we mix all the ingredients. Ah, oh, yeah, just like that. Simplicity. Easy, keep one hand free, just in case you need to touch something. Now, what's gonna happen here is if you feel like your potatoes um, are too soft and you don't think they are combining very well, you can add a little bit of breadcrumbs in the mix, okay, in, just in case your croquettes are too soft. But as you can see, my croquette, it's actually good. The consistency, it's what I want. And I will be able to make the croquette with this consistency. Look, see? They're nice and firm, okay? This is, this is what you want. If your mix is way too soft, then you do need more breadcrumbs. Or more cheese, if you want more flavors. Okay, now let's add the filling into the croquettes. So what we do is have a little bit of water on the side so you can wet the palm of your hands, okay? We get an amount of croquettes, just like this. You don't wanna make them too big, okay? Let's, let's make them a, a normal, decent size, okay? Now what we do is we make a hole in there so we can add the mozzarella, we can add the ham, and then we can actually close it, okay? So we wanna be able to do this and then close it. Just like that. Now you can choose to make the croquette long, like now, like this one. You can make your croquettes round. It's up to you, okay? Today I'm choosing to make them nice and long, like this, okay? And now we let it rest on the baking paper. Just make sure, see the edges? Ah, square. Okay, perfect. Let's make another one. Wet the palm of your hands, as always. Get a nice amount of mix. Press here and make a hole in there so we can put the mozzarella. We can put the ham and then we close it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Close it just like this. Close. Just be very gentle when you do it. We wanna make the edges square, just like this. And we let it rest on the baking paper. I love potato croquettes because they're so moist, so beautiful, they melt in your mouth. And this is so relaxing. So relaxing, guys, so relaxing for you to do. If you wanna add any other ingredients, please use any ingredients that you like, any fillings that you want. You wanna put more pecorino inside, you wanna use a different type of cheese, you wanna use spinach, or you wanna use uh, fish, you wanna use tuna, do whatever you want. You can do the croquettes any way you want. And here we have it, 15 croquettes are ready to be fried. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, but it's a good thing, you know why? They were made with my hands. And made is always best. You don't want factory croquettes made by machines. Always trust your hands. Come on guys, get one egg wash, some breadcrumbs, and what we do is we are gonna get the croquette, 
Get the croquette and we put it in the egg. Just use one hand when you do this. Put it in the egg. Now from the egg, on the bread, use the other hand to put the bread on top. Just like this, move it around. Perfect. You want to make sure the bread goes on every side, on every corner. Perfect. Put it back in here. What I have to say now, the croquette is nice and firm. You let it rest for about five minutes and your croquettes will get a little bit more firm, which is very important. You don't want the croquette to break, you know, when you do this. Put the bread everywhere. Just roll it on the bread. Roll, roll, roll. And here we have it, another one, ready to be fried. And here are the beautiful croquettes for you. Look how beautiful they are. 15 croquettes made with love. Now let's fry them. How do we fry them? You can use sunflower oil or peanut oil, but if someone is allergic, you can use it. So I'm going for sunflower oil, okay? And I'm gonna cook about five at a time, okay? The oil is nice and hot. And here we go, we got one, Two, three, four, and five. Five at a time. And it's gonna take about three minutes for them to cook, okay? Three minutes would allow to cook the sides. It would allow for the cheese to melt. Oh, look how beautiful they are. Look at the color. The first batch will cook faster because the oil is very hot. But you will see that the more you cook, the more the oil will get colder. Basically, the croquettes are ready when they become golden brown. Does it look ready to you? It looks ready to me. Okay, now let's take them out and put it on a plate with paper. So it absorbs the oil. Now let's do another batch. Another batch of five. We got one, two, three, four and five and then we start turning them just be gentle when you turn them because you do not want to break the croquette okay if you are too rough the croquette can break and then the cheese goes everywhere it will create a mess in the oil and you're not gonna have fun cleaning everything let's take them out look how beautiful that's the color that you want for your croquettes beautiful golden brown amazing Oh, oh, hello, yum, yum. Oh, look how beautiful they are, huh? Look how sexy, beautiful they are. They smell delicious and I'm sure they're very cheesy inside. Once they dry on the paper, we're gonna put them on a nice plate so we can present them to your guests. So we put them on a nice plate here. We can create a nice round plate for our croquettes. And here we have the croquettes. Best part of the recipe, time to eat. Mm. Crunchy to perfection. Mm. Moist on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Just the way I remember them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Thank you, mom, for sharing this recipe. The more you eat them, the more you want them. Mm. Mm. Moist, crunchy, and full of flavors. Oh my God, I have to say goodbye. I need to go and make love with my croquettes. Mm. 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 Thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate.
Mmm. Come on, guys. Go to the shop, buy the ingredients, and make it. Make it now.